Okay, so w whenever you guys are ready, can you just talk through what you put together? Um, so what we tried to do was to make um, three amusement park rides uh, to, to show on the Saomi strip. Uh, so the three of the rides that we chose a uh, roller coaster and uh, drop tower <laughs> and also bouncer. Yeah, yeah. like a bouncing ball. Okay. Um, so we used two meter um, LED strip. It's um, pixel addressable, which means we can address each of the pins. And then we use seven IMUs, which uh, return the acceleration in 3D space. Uh, yes. Can you just demo right now and then explain? Sure. So, so you have a two meter LED strip, and then you've attached how many of these we IMUs? Have seven, seven IMUs. Seven IMUs. Okay. To the LED strip which uh, the measurements from those IMUs, depending on the mode, will affect how the light traverses? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. sure. So let's see, and you have a demo put together, or a GUI here that allows for you to select different modes and initial conditions and such. Cool. Sure, so can we see how it works? Um, so this is roller coaster. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I can hold it like change the um the how the trail is laid out actively and then we just change in real time so the speed of the light through the strip changes. is changed depending on how you control the shape of the, the strip because you're measuring the direction down mm -hmm. using the IMU. So So it settles at the lowest, the closest oh, yeah. to the lowest point that it can detect based on the number of sensors that you yeah. have. Yeah. Very cool. And then as you, that's awesome. And then as you change the shape of it, it finds the new lowest point. Oh yeah, I didn't finish the ride. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so that was our roller coaster, and then we also have the drop tower. Yep. So just. We'll just give them a brief explanation for uh, some people who might not know um, the drop tower. So okay. it's just, it's a ride where it goes slowly to the top and then you wait for a second and then and then it drops uh, really quickly mm -hmm. uh, down. And then the speed of uh, the ride dropping should be the same as the free fall. So actually we can kind of show that it's the same as the um, like a so these, this is based on those rides. I think they're typically around a pole where you get lifted up yeah. and it waits for some amount of time and then drops you. Yeah. So you've modeled free fall acceleration here. Okay, so, so the speed of the light through the strip is about the same as the speed of the pen being dropped. Yep. Very cool. Yeah. And our last one is bouncer. So this is bouncer. <laughs> so it's behaving a lot like a bouncy ball would behave. Really cool. And then your your interface does it, it allows you to do some other things too, like change colors and such. Is that right? Uh, yes. So there are some friction ratio or ratio that kind of accounts for friction and also how sensitive it is to the uh, accelerometer on the strip. And also we can change the color um, if you want. <laughs> cool. And also we can 
control the number of um, cards or the number of the cards. This is longer current. <laughs> okay, sure. So you're able to control some of the parameters of the physics simulation, yes. the color and the length of the, the, the number of lights that are illuminated simultaneously and, yes. and the sensitivity to the sensors as well, mm -hmm. which allows for you to sort of tune in real time to get the behavior that looks best for you. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Thank you. Can we show you one last thing? Of course. Okay. We're doing the loop. You were doing the loop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so you're holding it such that there's a loop in the middle. And is this going to be in the roller coaster mode? Yeah. Okay. Very. Yeah, so so you can see that it speeds up down to the bottom, slows down around the loop, and then comes out. Can you run that one more time? Woo! <laughs> Awesome. Really cool. Thank you.